The mission of Jazz St. Louis is to lead our community in advancing the uniquely American art of jazz through live performance, education, and outreach. One of the ways we advance jazz is through live performance, especially at our Jazz at the Bistro series, which has been named one of the top 10 jazz clubs in the country. This is a rating that came from Wynton Marsalis in USA Today, where he said that our bookings are impeccable and we're one of the best managed places in the business. We were also named as one of nine great jazz joints on CNN.com, and we regularly receive high marks from St. Louis Magazine and the Riverfront Times as being St. Louis's number one jazz club. I'm also proud to say that Jazz St. Louis was a recent recipient of a Missouri Arts Award for being the 2011 Outstanding Arts Organization. This year, Jazz St. Louis is going to cross a major milestone the 100,000th student served by our educational programs such as master classes, workshops, and in-school performances. Also, we're now reaching 10 to 12,000 students per year through our education and outreach activities, including weekly instruction for 45 of St. Louis's most talented young people. It's not remembering, it's in your blood. You know how it should sound and how it should feel. Everyone on this stage speaks the same language. Words are not a commodity here. Making good music is the goal. For one afternoon, these St. Louis area students are learning from the best. Grammy award-winning bassist John Clayton his brother Jeff, an accomplished sax player, and trumpeter Terrell Stafford share their wisdom. I think everybody keeps trying to play, they're, they're afraid to go. It's kind of cool. It's a jazz lesson like no other. It just seemed so intimate. There was no uh, outside distractions. It was just one-on-one -on -one attention and the type of attention that students really need in order to progress to the next level. I didn't just learn about my instrument. I learned about bass and every horn and the drums all at the same time. What can we do to add to, to what we're doing and make it even stronger? Jazz St. Louis's artist residency program connects students with world-class musicians. For one week, the artists tour local schools teaching their craft to the next generation. Even if they don't go on, who music as a career, what's important is that they're having these experiences because uh, someone who may not be a jazz musician may be a great advocate down the road, maybe someone who really um, pushes for jazz and jazz education in their community, or maybe a future teacher that wants to start a jazz band. Don't forget your notes. The impact made in this room is evident. East St. Louis senior Deshaun King is taking his talents in tenor sax to Duke University. Now I, I can start working the proper way and I've learned how to improve my tone even more. I've even made a, myself a little schedule and a little regime on how to practice now. Scale from one to 10, 10. They knew their way around every instrument, not just the one that they play all the time. You guys learned that in less than 15 minutes and you have it now for life. That's great. A talented performer does not necessarily make for a good teacher. It helps if you enjoy the work. The credo that we musicians live by is that I'm doing this for you because somebody did it for me and you're going to do it for somebody else further down the line. I was taught that early on. I live by that rule and I love to do it. It's not a chore. Do this so that the whole room can hear you and you can fill up the room. Terrell Stafford is the director of jazz studies at Temple University in Philadelphia. This is his third year participating in the Jazz St. Louis residency program. Just to come out and impart what I know is, is great, but to, to come out and follow up and to see what was imparted was followed up on and the students are really serious about learning, that's what really means a lot and that's why I continue to do it. Ornette Coleman once said, jazz is the only music in which the same note can be played night after night but differently each time. Clayton says teaching is more about empowerment. Letting students know good music is already within them. They're really focused, they're really listening to what we're telling them. They're 
They're trying what we suggest. They're totally into experimenting. It's all the right stuff. I know that if I follow what they tell me this week, nothing can stand in my way as long as I put what they tell me into practice. Thank you.